Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and today I wanted to do a video review for this HTI thermal imaging camera. So I decided to get this because we actually had an audit done from a third-party company um, through our electrical provider last year that allowed us to get some idea of what was going on with um, issues around the house in terms of insulation, other areas that maybe need to be buttoned up in terms of just um, air that could be coming through gaps of windows, doors, other areas throughout the home. I ended up actually paying an auditor to come in and they basically did a full scan with a device like this and I found it to be very impressive to kind of detect what was going on. So what I thought I'd do in this video is kind of show a little bit of what came inside the packaging with this product and then we'll kind of demo it as I walk around here. Um, it's currently summertime at the time I'm recording this so um, this will give you a good example of how it works because I do have some cold elements in here. but. Um, Ultimately, it won't be able to show gaps in like the winter time, which is probably the best use case scenario, at least in my case as a residential homeowner, where I'd really want to use this. Um, inside the packaging, you have a um, basic USB um, charger. You've got your charging cable, um, and then it comes with this bag, which is really nice to hold the camera. It has a full um, instruction manual that kind of goes through, explains all the functions. And then this is the actual unit itself. So you have a few controls here, and I've already powered this on. Um, basically, you can use these arrows to move through navigation, and then you can select anything in the menus, as well as um, change options. So right now, we have a few different settings that you can see, and this may be a little bit tough um, on the camera if I can get it to focus. There's the current temperature just kind of staring at the desk. You can see anything in red will pick up heat signatures, and then anything in really dark blue it will be cold signatures. Um, there's a few other data points here, like the battery life, time, things like that, and there's other settings which I'm not 100% on yet. I'm still kind of learning the device. Um, I'll kind of go through before we demo. If you hit this menu button, you can actually go through and take specific images. You can set time. It has built-in memory of about 1,500 megabytes. Um, the intensity, language settings, shutdown, whether or not you want um, Celsius or Fahrenheit. You can do specific spot settings, color palettes, um, emissivity, if I pronounce that right, and image fusion, as well as, um, I think that's pretty much it. So uh, let me actually go down here. I'm just gonna exit out of this. So basically as a little demo here, I actually have a mini fridge um, in this room here. This is kind of like a man cave that I set up. And I'll kind of go around the room and this will be a really good example to show how well the signatures work. So if I can get the camera to focus here, you can see um, it actually has red signatures on the exterior of the fridge, but then it's entirely blue on the inside due to the fact that that's obviously where the cold is. So this is probably gonna be the best example. I do also have a mini split up here um, that's blowing at about 72 degrees. So at least that's what it's set to. So you can see the cold signature coming right out of the fan. So this definitely really works. It's actually really cool to look around the room. Like I've got a computer monitor here. So you can see all the heat signatures coming from the computer monitor. Um, even this little USB hub that I have down here, as well as my mouse, it picks up all the heat signatures from. So very, very cool and very interesting device. I think if you're looking for something like this, to go around your home, maybe find gaps in windows, doors, other areas that could be of concern, this would definitely do the job. Um, there's obviously many other use cases if you're someone that's a professional in the insulation field looking for like leaks or problems, um, looking around copper pipes, things like that. There's lots of opportunities um, to utilize this. Anyway, hopefully you found the video review helpful and I'll talk to you later.